in this video we are talking about tumoral calcinosis this is also known as lipocalcinogranulomatosis this is a rare disease with progressive large nodular and just articular calcified soft tissue masses in patient with normal serum calcium and phosphorus and there's no evidence of renal metabolic or collagen vascular disease this is characterized by painless and periarticular soft tissue masses and usually refer to a disease caused by hereditary metabolic dysfunction of phosphate regulation and should not be used for soft tissue calcification in general. When considering the age, the onset mostly within first and second decades and male to female ratio is equal and predominantly seen in blacks. The most common locations are hip, elbow, shoulder, foot and wrist. Clinically, there are progressive painless soft tissue mass with oval and skin ulceration and sinus tract draining chalky milk like fluid and you can see the swelling and limitation of motion and hyperphosphatemia and hypervitaminosis D and also you can see the normal serum calcium alkaline phosphatase renal function and parathyroid hormone levels so the etiology one third cases are autosomal dominant with variable clinical expressivity and this unknown biochemical defect in phosphorus metabolism is responsible for the abnormal phosphate reabsorption and 125 dihydroxyvitamin d formation and pathologically, there are multilocular cystic lesion with creamy white milk. This is also called as milk of calcium or hydroxyapatite crystals in suspension with granulomatous foreign body reaction which are surrounded by fibrous capsule. When considering plain radiograph of tumoral calcinosis, there is a typical appearance on plain radiograph with amorphous and multilobulated or otherwise called cloud-like calcification located in periarticular distribution. You can see dense loculated multiglobular homogeneously calcified soft tissue mass of 1 to 20 cm in size and cystic appearance with radiolucent septa and you can see the sedimentation sign. This is fluid fluid levels with milk of calcium consistency and CT is better delineate these calcific masses and no erosion so osseous destruction by adjacent soft tissue masses and you can see cystic appearance with multiple fluid calcium levels caused by calcium layering this is called as sedimentation sign and underlying bones are normal an increased trace uptake of soft tissue masses on bone scan when considering MRI you can see inhomogeneous high signal intensity on T2 weighted images and inhomogeneous lesion with low signal intensity on T1 weighted images when tumoral calcinosis at bone uh, you can also see in diaphyseal periosteal reactions it's also called as diaphysitis and patchy areas of calcification in medullary cavity this calls calcific myelitis and increased uptake on bone scintigraphy and tumoral calcinosis at teeth bulbous root enlargement and pulp stones we also called as intrapulp calcification and also you can see pseudoxanthoma elasticum like features these are calcinosis cutis, vascular calcification, angioid district of retina. When considering prognosis, tendency for recurrence after incomplete excision can be seen. Treatment is phosphate depletion and differential diagnosis mainly chronic renal failure on hemodialysis, CPPD, paraosteoarthropathy and hyperparathyroidism.